Advanced hepatocellular carcinoma remains a challenging disease, requiring a strategic approach to treatment selection and sequencing. Recent advances in immunotherapy have transformed first-line treatment. However, there is a cohort of patients ineligible for I.O. and questions remain on optimal strategies for those with progression on I.O.-based therapies. For patients with advanced HCC who are ineligible for I.O. due to active autoimmune disorder or prior liver transplantation, tyrosine kinase inhibitors, sorafenib and lemvatinib, remain the recommended first-line treatment options. For patients who progress on first-line IO-based therapy, several strategies can be considered. If possible, and as recommended by current guidelines, clinical trial enrolment is encouraged to improve treatment sequencing evidence. In routine clinical practice, switching to a TKI or anti-VEGFR2 may be a viable option. There are two main post-IO treatment approaches involving TKIs. The T-1 approach, which prioritizes sorafenib or lemvatinib as second-line options. And the line agnostic approach, which expands treatment choices to include regorafenib, cabozantinib and ramucirumab. Prospective data on the use of TKIs after progression on IO remains limited as most available data comes from studies conducted after progression on sorafenib. The existing data suggest that patients who progress on first-line I.O. and maintain preserved liver function may benefit from second-line TKIs with no new safety signals observed. The same applies to the use of I.O. after progression on I.O., although this approach is currently even less well-defined. In the absence of evidence-based interventions, clinical decision-making should be based on patients' clinical features, tolerability of the prior therapy and regulatory approvals in each country. Deciding when to transition to second-line therapy requires careful assessment of the pattern of progression, liver function and patient tolerability considering treatment-related toxicity and ECOG performance status. A multidisciplinary approach is key to optimising individualised treatment decisions and improving outcomes for these patients. In conclusion, receiving second-line treatment improves outcomes in cases of disease progression after first-line I.O. Limited prospective data highlights the need for patient enrolment in clinical trials to optimise sequencing strategies.